Hello, you are watching us, Karima. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a new day, new stuff, and new skills with Adobe Illustrator 2021 version. As I promise you, let's jump in and see what's up. I will start by showing you sparing check. It's a new feature in Adobe Illustrator, and this wording or alphabets in yellow color, they are the one with mistakes. What I will do, I press right click or go to edit and then check, uh, click on this sparing option or by pressing right click, it's a quick way and then check sparing. I will click start and then they're going to correct some of the mistakes in my wording text so I can uh, scroll up and then choose this and then by pressing here, this is going to change and now, as you can see, we have a dot here and then and no one was started by a small letter and that is a mistake so i will choose this by pressing change and then it's going to give me capital letter and then we have also this t after the point and then it's a mistake it has to be in caps so i press change and we also have this kigari and it's in small letter it's fast letter k is in small letter and we have a correct word here and then i will press change and then it's going to give me correct word we also have this central and then it's a mistake we have to correct it by pressing it's a center but i think this is a mistake but we choose this one because we usually use located in the center of not center I will choose the second one and then press change. And then we have Luganwa. I think the mistaken. This is a Kinyarwanda word. I will ignore it by pressing ignore. And then this is done. As you can see, we still have some mistakes inside, but you can correct this by using the, the right, using the wordings and your skills. You can select or as you can see this has to be in small letter this has to be in small letter too but this has to be in capital letter because it's africa and then this has to be in capital letter even this which one is even river has to be in capital letter that was the first one let's jump to the second one we have this amazing feature This is a commission logo I've been working on. And uh, in my next tutorial, I will show you a poster of them with some cool design, cool stuffs. So let me duplicate it. And I'm going to show you uh, Simplify. No one knows what is it, but here it is. By pressing red click, I have this Simplify option here. And by pressing on it, I uh, will have this small tab. And then by dragging this to the rift, the wording things, the shape, my, my wording shape, they are going to change. Reckon this way. You can see the difference. This is too curvy and this is way rounded. Yeah, it, it seems there is a mistake. Look at the map of Africa. Look at this. The edges are very different from this one. That is Simplify. You can also use it. You can also let's put this aside. You can also use it on the shapes. Rex stars. Sorry for that. You can also use it here by pressing right click, Simplify, and then I can change the edges. Right, the curving edges. I can make it sharper. I can curve them as you can see from here it's right quick and he has more option inside here where you can do like this you can also convert this to rhyme like in any form of rhyme as you can see i can make it straight rhyme okay rectangular rhyme like different so that's it for simplify i can put this aside and uh, we also have this image this is going to be 
it has some cool stuff inside here we have this vectorized image as you can see i can select every single cache here and the thing i'm going to show you is we call this recara artwork we are going to recover this by changing its color from this one what i will do i'll get to my properties by selecting this i'll get to my properties and then click on recolor and wait a moment i'm going to drag and play around with these colors so that we can have some as you can see the image is changing let me do it again let's go back a little bit and duplicate this image and i want to show you before and after i will select this one and then recur artwork and i can play around with different colors from this color part by zooming in i think you can see the different the color are changing from warm ones to greeny purplish this is kind of of cool stuff i cannot select every single color on this but i can play around with recolor option like it's just boom and the other option on this i can go to adobe stock and get some color parrots adobe adobe it's adobe colors by pressing enter it's going to take a moment to load pressing enter it's loading yeah here we go let's go to explore so that i can get some camera pirates brew is trendy today but really right like apple by pressing enter so that i can get pirate related to apple colors and we can use it on that vectorized image and we can use it on recurring our image it's taking long but not forever let's wait here we go i like this let me choose the uh, yeah these are nice you have this art library appreciate all download as jpeg so i can press download as jpeg this is jpeg yeah let's wait a moment so that it, it can it can download and we use it in our recurring yeah it takes a moment here we go i get to show and i'm going to drag it inside adobe illustrator so big whoosh this is so big and what we are going to do now i'm going to pick from this camera pirate as you can see let me select this and then press recolor we have this let me put this aside we have this camera theme this is a camera theme so i'm going to press it on it and then choose maybe one more by clicking this as you can see the camera is changing by also clicking this yeah these are some cool stops by clicking on this that green the camera is changing too as you and that was it for recurring artwork and hope you run something good these are these are new features with adobe illustrator 2021 version and the other thing i'm going to show you is aligning text we have new features amazing features in adobe illustrator which uh, let me just use dummy words but let me first choose 24 and pick the white color here 
and now to press Ctrl T by yeah it's automatic sorry for that it's automatic so we have it like this let me give it a uh, headlines let's call it headlines our text just simple like that by pressing the enter remake this to regular Brack and increase its size so you can see the difference. I can select this and then go to my palette and choose this yellow. So we have our text here. And uh, there is a new feature. In Adobe Illustrator for aligning text. We usually know this in InDesign, but now we have it in Adobe Illustrator. Just watch me, watch me doing it. I will select the text box and then go on this. It is here. I hope you can see it. It's here by pressing on this and then let's choose maybe center. Our text is going to be aligned in the center. By going back, by going back here, you can also say bottom. As you can see, our text is aligned to the bottom. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, you can add it back by going here to the top, and then the text will be on the top. Yeah, we also have this. We also have this um, amazing, well, 2021 is am just amazing. They are amazing features, they are amazing stuff. So let me show you, let me keep this text here. You know, we usually press Command 2 or Control 2 when we want to rock the object or the background by going to object and rock the selection. We, got, we have this new feature. And let me show you what is it. By going to object and lock this uh, background, I can go to the new feature is in here. You can go to edit and then preferences, selection and anchor display. So you can check this select and unlock object on canvas. So you can even increase this size maybe to 10 pixels 10 pixels and then let's press ok as you can see we have this oh, this is amazing i don't know how to cover it but it's amazing we have this option here let me zoom in a little bit it's here as you can see, we have a small rock pad here. This is when you click on it, just by pressing one click, you will unlock your object. And by pressing Ctrl 2, you will rock it. This is a very quick way in Adobe Illustrator 2021 version. You can click on it, unlock the object by pressing Ctrl 2 and lock it by selecting it. Simple. Yeah, yeah. And we also have this uh, option of shape. Let me show you. I don't know if it, it, it was not in uh, Adobe 2019 Illustrator, but let me show you what's up. I will choose zero and select by zooming in. We have this small drag option here. Let me zoom in for you. I hope you can see it. This one. By pulling it up, I can change the shape. Right. Guess what it is? Guess what this is? I get to a rips and create this. And by 
choosing this this is amazing stuff amazing right let's check if you can do it on the rectangular you you cannot you cannot but let's try it let's try it we repeat pen to now this is different we also have this option of changing shape by selecting by holding that key you can change this as you can see by holding that key you can change this and I want a ribs to so that we can do it here let's make a shape of circle so that I can show you new stuff by just going back to V by selecting my shape I can change the shape without taking a pen tool and cut this section or without taking scissor tool and cut this option this shape sorry yeah this is something you knew about I don't know yet if it was in 2019 but here it is we also have this amazing unity measurements the adobe's have have added more unity measurements how to see it by pressing ctrl or command arrow you can open these rules and by pressing right click as you can see we now have feet feet inches yards these are new stuffs you can even change to global by changing the rules yeah nothing is changing but as you can see it's a quick way of changing your artboard measurements now i'm working with uh, i'm working with now i'm working with centimeters as you can see even by pressing right click here i'm working with centimeters but watch this if i want to work with website stuffs or website banner i have to go with pixels most of the times by pressing on pixels the whole screen is going to change to pixels look at this the measurements which was were in centimeters 30 they are now 850 you can also change it to feet these are new features these are new features yards you can count you can count the measurements in different ways on different options and uh, yeah there are many we know we even now have meters wow whoa, 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 whoa. these are meters Ha. points the way there let me put it back to centimeters and zoom out we also have this option by going to window and then find extension on exchange i think this is for adobe users so this window is going to open let's see what it's got it's loading yeah we have this we have this as you can see there are different features here you can add them inside the adobe illustrator they are also for ps indesign and many more you can also they are even free but i think this is for adobe users that was it for illustrator and i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like share comment and subscribe for more coming tutorials see you next time